Hey lovelies, I wanted to do an eye look with you today and I wanted to play around with Ken because Ken is a beautiful plum color, kind of a smoky, icy plum color that I love and I like to use it as an eyeliner sometimes too, but I was just in the mood for it. And so I wanted to show you that all of the makeup that I use is Saint because I love it and I'm so passionate about it that I became an artist. And so everything with the exception of my mascara, which we don't make right now, is Saint products. So if you want to get any of these yummy colors or if you want to have your face color matched for your skin to figure out what colors would be perfectly color matched to your skin to help give you a beautiful glowy look, then let me know. And I would love to help you on your journey to feel more beautiful. We have skincare as well. That is great. So reach out to me and I can get you started. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Leave me a comment if you like the video. It is very encouraging to me. Let me know if there are any saint colors or products or uh, videos that you want me to do and I will work on those. And thanks so much for watching and stay tuned. So let's get started. I am going to put pep P.U.P. and I'm gonna use my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna be using this. I use it every day. I love it. It is awesome for eyeshadows and I'm going uh, to be using it for most of the makeup looks on my eyes and I'm gonna put this pup down. I already put my brightening highlight, my white peach down to prime my eyes and then this is just going to kind of help anchor that so that my eyeshadows that I put on will blend really easily. It helps to camouflage further any veins, redness, discoloration, or anything. And I primed my eyes with that brightening highlight and so that my colors are going to pop and they're going to stay and last and not muddy or crease. So, okay, so we have that basic canvas ready. Now I am going to go right in to Kin. Kin is beautiful. It's that kind of plum color that I told you about. It's kind of got a little bit of mauve, maybe a hint of purple, um, just kind of like an icy plum. It's hard to describe, but it's really, really pretty. And so we are going to dive straight in to that. I'm going to use the fluffy end of my eyeshadow brush and I am going to keep this at the crease. Now it is super, super pigmented. And so I just barely, barely, barely touched it into the kin. So be really careful uh, because a dab will do you and it's a lot easier to build the color than to remove it. So I just want to work that all the way across my crease and kind of build that depth in that color. It, it's so pretty even like that when it's barely there. You could even just leave it to be a soft, deep plum color and you wouldn't have to do any more. Put your mascara on and just go. But we're going to build it up a little bit more, give it some shimmer. It is a shimmer and so if I were to use this with my finger um, to put it on much more concentrated then you would see that it does have a little bit of shimmer to it uh, like a metallic shimmer but I just kind of want to do a wash right now and so that's why I'm using this big fluffy brush and that's why you keep seeing me go back and forth, back and forth, because I want it really blurred and blended and soft to start with. I didn't mention earlier, but I told you my main highlight is amber that I've used today. My brightening highlight is white peach. And I didn't mention I also used Bella bronzer and um, I used Astoria contour. So everyone's skin is different. People have different undertones. And so you would need to be color matched to see exactly what color 
combinations would work well for you, but it's kind of like a paint by number system to where you're not wearing four layers of makeup on your face. You're just kind of putting things um, where they go. I have videos on that if you want to check them out, how to highlight or how to hack. And it is way easier than people realize, way easier than I realized because I didn't I just use one flat bottle of foundation for one flat 2D color look on my face before. And it can be, you know, I can do my skin makeup in five minutes. And so it can be really fast. My eyes take a little longer because like I said, I like to build the color slowly. I like to kind of play around with the different colors. I in one week probably i will not have the same makeup look i change it every day depending on my mood depending on the season on the theme of the day what i might be doing on my clothes so i love to play with the color so i just built that color until it's as deep as i want it will go much much deeper this is a very slight wash and it is super duper duper blended out so that it is soft. And then see how pretty that is just by itself. Put a little eyeliner, a little mascara, and you have a beautiful look. But we're gonna add a little more. So I'm gonna turn around my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna use the smaller, denser, shorter pencil brush end. And that's gonna concentrate it and pack it on a little heavier. And I'm going to take that a little heavier than I did in the crease. And I am going to, let's go ahead and color that whole outer corner. I was just going to do kind of a V shape, but let's go ahead and let this pretty color show up and pop. So let's go ahead and fill in that entire outer corner of the eyelid. So pretty. I love plums and they're cooler colors mostly and it's a color that I didn't think I could really wear before because I have warmer skin tones. But the more I play and um, these colors are so versatile that it doesn't matter, it just looks good on all skin types. So I'm putting that in the outer corner of my eyes and I'm building the color and I'm going ahead and taking it just into the crease right above that. Not the entire crease at this point, but just right above so it kind of blends in what I'm doing there at the edge of the eye, just to kind of deepen that color a little. So pretty. And I have hazily green eyes and the kind of purpley plum color looks really great with green eyes, but I have seen um, Kin on every eye color out there and it is beautiful no matter what color eyes you have. People tend to do the same eye looks, I feel like, over and over because they're kind of afraid and um, not sure what they're doing. Not everyone, but a lot of women out there are like that. And they're kind of afraid to play. They don't want to look like a clown. They don't want to look silly or overdone or look bad or garish. And there are so many beautiful colors to play with and it's sad to me when um, women don't have the confidence to play with the different colors because there are so many pretty colors and so many colors that would look great on them. Okay, and I'm gonna add that up into that crease just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it, do you see how the line is a little bit harsh? I'm gonna take it and blend it just a little with my fluffy end so that it's nice and blended. 
And I'm even going to go into a little bit of Lullaby, which is another beautiful color that I love. It is also kind of a plum. I would say it's probably a warmer plum, both beautiful. And I'm gonna put it right along the top edge of that line just to kind of smoke it and blend it a little bit up here at the top so that it matches everything above and just kind of um, fades into my brow bone area. And I'm kind of pulling at that color and pulling it up and swirling it up to bring some of that kin up so that it's blended because I got it really dark on this side. So I want to spread that color in the darkness of it around just a little to soften everything. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And just so you can see that metallic pop of color that it will give you, you know, you could leave it like this and it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's soft. It could probably pass for a matte if you were just talking to someone. But if you take a little bit of our shimmers and put them on your finger and it just makes them turn into metallic crush and it is so beautiful and all of our shimmers will do this it just packs them on much more concentrated and brings out the metallic shimmer to them that kind of smooths it out and lays it on your eyelid to where it really pops and shows up and so we'll just do that over both sides real quick so that we're even Lee shimmer shimmery on both sides okay and then while I have that on my brush and I'm working with it let's go ahead and put some more on the pencil brush and I am going to go ahead and carry that down on my lower lash line too and it's just a beautiful icy smoky Plum. And you don't have to line your lower lash line. That is up to you. And what look you like more, that may change from day to day depending on the look you're going for. But since this is a deeper color and it is so vibrant and kind of dark, uh, I just thought that it called for a lower lash line. Okay, and then because Ken is kind of shimmery, let's go in with, let's go in with some of that lullaby color that is that lighter plum. And let's kind of pack it here at the base and just kind of stamp it on just to cover a little of that shimmer so that we can kind of darken the color a little there. And that brings a little bit of a pink. The lullaby, I think, is a little bit more of a pinky plum, whereas Kin is more of a maybe mm, purple to burgundy plum. And we'll just stamp that on both sides. So pretty. I love the color. I love color, period. And it's so fun to put it on your eyes. You feel like an artist or like a, I feel like a little girl with a new set of paints whenever I go to do my makeup. And then let's go in to Sabrina, it is that shimmery cream color that I talked about. And let's put it on the eyeshadow brush on the big fluffy end. We're gonna start there, but I am probably gonna go in with another brush because this is gonna give us a light wash. 
and if I want more of the shimmer to stand out, I may need to use something shorter and denser. We'll see how it goes. And so that just brightens everything up. And the front part of my eye, I'm only taking it halfway across because I don't want to cover up what I just did with the kin. And I'm making sure to take it to the very top of my eyelid because I don't want that crease color to come down and eat up the real estate that I have on my eyelid. I think I may have accidentally went up too far on my eyelid and so I'm just reblending that a little bit. Okay, and then let's go in with the multitasker brush. So I'm gonna use the flat paddle brush end and that is going to pack that Sabrina on just a little more concentrated if you can see how much that brightened it up it's a lot easier with this shorter brush too to be very very specific in where i place the color so i can be really precise with it and then if i want let's put it on my finger sabrina and we'll put it in the middle just to kind of bring out that shimmer a little bit, kind of give it a pearly glaze there in the center. And then I'm going to go back to the kin a little bit and let's use my multitasker brush on it also. And I'm gonna repack it here so that it didn't get washed out at all by the Sabrina and I'm starting on the outside and then I'm kind of working it in a little bit to where it kind of marries together with the Sabrina and let's go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of unicorn magic it makes everything magical and I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my finger I'm going to, <laughs> that was probably too much. I told you it was magic. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. And I'm gonna put it right here on the simmer, this center, just to give that a little bit more pop. And then I wanna make my crease a little darker, just to show up a little more for when I close my eyes. And so let's add a little bit of a brown, but it's like a reddish brown, like a cherry chocolate brown, and it is called cocoa. And let's go in just a wash with this brush. I just put the tiniest dab on it and I'm gonna stamp it right here on my crease just to darken that up because the shimmer and the kin is really coming out. But I want it to have some darkness there so that it stands out and looks really pretty when I look down or around. Okay, super, super pretty. All right, and then let's go back to the multitasker brush and let's put some more of that Sabrina, that shimmery cream color. And let's put it just on the tip of the brush and we're going to put it just right under hugging my brow. Just right there at the top. I don't like to go too far down because I don't want to eat up that real estate of all of the gradient of color that I can have. And then I'll just blend that together with the fluffy brush. Okay. All right. And now let's go into some eyeliner to make this pop even more. 
Um, I like to, if I'm using a really dark color like this, sometimes I feel like it calls for a little black to make it pop, but we're not gonna go too crazy with the black. It's not gonna be a deep coal black. It is Salem and it's just about perfect. It is our one of our powder eyeshadows, but it's like a charcoal black. It is not too deep, but it is deep enough. And I'm going in with the line brush with the tiny little thin um, angled brush. And I'm just gonna stamp it at my upper lash line really quickly. And this will help to make it appear that your lashes are thicker, especially when you add on your mascara. So you can keep it really close to your lash line. And then as I stamp it, I'm flicking my brush up so that it kind of smokes it a little. So the line isn't too defined, isn't too harsh. And then I like to go about halfway to a little over halfway inward on my lash line and then I just taper it into my lash line. And then I can go as thick as I want. I'm gonna wing this out a little bit. Everyone knows I like a cat eye, so. You don't have to have a wing, obviously. It looks good without two. And then I go back, and this is one of the reasons I love using a, an eyeshadow for my liner is that it goes on softly and it's easy to build. And so I can go back and make it thicker, um, exactly as thick as I want it, and just kind of build that line. If you went in with a liquid liner, then it is there and when you lay it it is going to be harsh and it's going to be very very sharp and defined which isn't a bad look but it is easy to mess up and often i don't want a really harsh line especially as you get older it's more flattering to kind of um, soften your eyeliner sometimes depending on the look some looks kind of call for uh, or are really flattering with the sharper eyeliner and I will still use that if I think the look calls for it but I just like a little bit of a smoked look and so I think these eyeshadows that are ultra pigmented work really well for that. Okay, and I don't know if you can tell, but as I move my head and turn different ways, the light really catches the metallic on that kin up here. And because my eyeliner kind of covered my kin quite a bit. I'm going to go in here in a second and touch that up again with my finger. Okay, and without adding anything at all extra to the brush, I'm not putting more Salem on it, but just the tiniest dab of residue that may be left. I'm going ahead and deepening up as close as I can get to my lower lash line, just to give that a little bit of darkness. And then if it's too harsh, I can go in with that eyeshadow brush, the pencil brush end, and kind of soften that and smoke it out. Now let's go ahead and go back to that kin, that deep purple or deep 
plum color and just add just a little bit more since we lost a little in the eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go into that Sabrina color and I'm going to put it on my finger and I'm going to put it right there at the tear duct just to kind of brighten things up a little bit more here. And there we go. Okay, so I've got my mascara on and while that's drying, I like to go in and kind of touch up whatever the black mascara kind of washed out a little if there's anything that I need to darken up. And I think I'm gonna go ahead into this edge of my crease out here and darken that just a smidge. And I'll blend that up just to make everything pop and to help that area kind of stand out on its own apart from the kin a little. And take the remainder on my brush and kind of blend it out here, pulling that and swirling that kin color and the cocoa color up a little. And then wherever I feel like it's not coming up enough, I go back and just kind of pull that up with my brush. And then I'm gonna go in just a little bit more with the kin on the pencil brush end and hit this lower lash line again. And this makes a beautiful eyeliner. And then I'll go in and touch up a little bit with the Salem again. Just out here on the edge, just to deepen that up so that it can kind of hang with the black mascara and so that's not drowned out by it. Okay. And I said I used plum on my lips and my cheeks earlier, which I did, but I didn't use any illuminator. So let's add just a little. Um, I always put a little bit of pearl on the tip of my nose and on the bridge going up just to kind of give me that perked up turned up nose effect and then let's put a little bit of this Photoshop color now our powder illuminators are going to be a lot more potent so I'm going to be very careful just to put a little I'm just going to put it at the top of my cheek color and that pretty kind of mauvey pink will give me a nice highlight that kind of coordinates with the uh, kin color and I did put a little bit on my lips earlier you can probably see that in the middle so that's the look. I could go in and go darker. I could add a little bit more pinks um, to the top, the pinky mauves, or I could add pink separately, but I think it's a really pretty look and it's really versatile. Uh, you could do a lot with it and it's flattering for every eye color. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you liked the video, subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. I try to post at least once a week. And if there, leave a comment. I would love to um, talk to you and hear um, if you like the video. I get a lot of encouragement um, from you when you do that. And if there are any other Saint colors or products that you wanna see, let me know and I can work on those videos. And thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you soon.